Hi and welcome back. It's Bobby Shields from Dogbone Knives. Uh, today I have been doing a little forging. I'm going to tack that onto the probably the middle or the end or the middle of this right here anyway, just to show you that uh, what I was doing on my knife. Uh, the the survival knife I was working on I broke. It had a little bend in it, and I was trying to straighten it out. It's made out of one. I thought it's warm enough. It's not. It wasn't. So it broke. So that one goes in the. I'll learn not to mess with it till it gets good and tempered for two or three times. So now I'm gonna. I've refined it a little bit more on that. So I've made this pattern. Try to make patterns all of them, especially if I'm just. If that's you know if I'm just gonna to uh, work on one particular you know kind of stock removal knife but anyway with this I forged okay this is I actually forged I used my little monkey vise and or a anvil my ASO my anvil shaped object only smaller uh, and okay this is 5160 it was five sixteenths of an inch thick I've got it down to a little under a quarter right there tried to put a little distal on it uh, the other one that I was this is number two so I've done two the other one uh, tried to when I was beating on it and everything tried to make a cold shut out here and so I decided I'd just go ahead and just forge this out and try to keep the back of it straight instead of let it go but too banana we that's the reason I didn't do anything with the handle I don't know exactly what I'm doing this is my first forges so anyway I forged it a piece about the same to this and I've been grinding on it with laser there and I put a little distal taper on it it's not the straightest thing in the world but that's no big deal right now I mean when I heat it up and get it before I temp before I harden it and everything I'll try my best to straighten it out much as I can maybe I'll have something that I can straighten it out on but uh, anyway this should fit on there plenty good something like that yeah like that somewhere or another I'll put it on there get it I'll do the scandy grind on it or the saber grind straighten everything out so now when uh, I showed the forge and everything going uh, I asked uh, Alex Steele for help. Uh, yeah, maybe you can help an old dog out here and uh, make him a hammer. I've got a one pound ball peen hammer. I broke the hammer, the handle on it, hammering on that. And I had to come back in and I got this claw hammer. That's the biggest hammer I got. Claw hammers is what I got and uh, I don't have any I don't even have any uh, two or three pound hammers laying around once upon a hundred years ago I did but not lately so anyway if I can get him to make me a hammer I'll pay for it of course but that's what it broke and I only got two blisters uh, one there and one there so far and that was it so I don't do much hammering so the bigger the hammer the less times you got to swing it that little thing out there beats you beats you to death but the, an uh, the anvil I've got is made out of a railroad track a little piece of it one side's been cut off square it's got a 90 degree on it the top's still round a little bit and then it's got one round edge on it so as you're doing it it makes a kind of a a fuller I used uh, on this on this this area right here I laid it down across it and beat back and turned it over and done the same thing I cat and tried to fuller it and to pull it out to make it a little bit wider and to make it a little bit longer and everything that's the only way I know to do it, do it so like I said once upon a time my grandfather my great-grandfather was a wheelwright and made wagon wheels and put the tires on them and stuff we don't have any tools, no forges, no anvils, no nothing from him and everything like that. So those 
And my grandpa, he never, he never done anything that I knew of. And uh, so, and daddy never did, my dad didn't. So it's just me, I guess, trying to figure out how, how to do these things. But anyway, needless to say, I'm start cry, trying to stick my toe into it a little bit there and do a little forging, you know, if I can get this knife to work out and do what I think it will do with uh, I get the geometry right on it and everything and get the balance and the feel and the abilities of it, hopefully it'll do more than than what I've got it uh, figured out to do. Hopefully there'll be new, more and things, more things it can do or will do uh, and still hold up real good and hold a good edge. That's what I'm trying for. If I can't get a good edge on them and, and keep them from breaking, I don't want to make them. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't let anything out of here that I know of if it's got a flaw in it. I just don't do it. You know, there are certain flaws like in handle material and stuff that, you know, that happens maybe after the fact, but, uh, you know, after a little while. But if it's cracked and I know it before I let it go, I, it don't go. And uh, so, anyway, or you know, I'll fix it. But that's that's neither here nor there. So, anyway, Alex, if you would, I I would appreciate a hammer, a square, one of them rounded hammers of yours, in two and a half, three pound range. I mean, like I said, I'll pay for it. You don't even have to put a handle in it. Just make the hammer for me. Just heat treat it, fix it up there, and stick it in a in a big box or a little bitty box whatever the size of them they are and we'll see about exchanging money for for hammer or whatever or, or maybe we can do a collab on something I don't know what I mean I am nowhere near your caliber but anyway I try to every day to be better than I was yesterday at this so that's the reason I took I tried this forging out I mean I had no place to go except up, you know. If I try it and fail, hey, the only thing I can do is get better. <laughs> I mean, because I'm already starting out at the bottom, not knowing what I'm doing, but I try. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to tag that on the end of this, I believe, and everything. So, till, uh, till next time, and after you watch the other part of it there, God bless, and come back and, and see me sometime or another. And hey, don't forget to like and share this. I've got to, and remember, I have still got the contest there for 50. When I get hit 50 subscribers, that I'll give this the center gauge away, the center marker. And uh, here it is. Like I said, I keep mine in my drawer. It's set on two millimeters. It's what stock I got. I stock, use about four millimeter stock, so I keep it set on two. On two. Anyway, till next time. God bless. Hi, welcome back. I'm Bo Knives here. I'm outside trying to trying to do a little forging if I can there. And all I can say is, Alex Steele, please help. I need a hammer. I'm, uh, this is what I'm trying to do with this ball peen. I've got a call hammer, it's a little heavier, but that's the only one I got. I don't like the ones that Home Depot's got. So, anyway, here's me trying on a full piece of railroad iron. I call this my monkey handle. It's what I had, it's what I'm using. see this this is 5160 
It's what I'm going to try to do my uh, DB7 out of. Uh, monkeyed around and done something I knew better to, to do. I was trying to straighten just a little warp out of the old one and, and broke it before I tempered it. So Anyway, I thought I'd try my hand at this. So, Alex, if you hear me, uh, I'd like to get a squared grounding hammer uh, in a three pound range, two and a half, three pound range. I'll pay for it, of course, but if I can get you away from your cutlasses in between them or something there, before when you was over in England, shipping would have been probably been 10 times what the hammers cost. But anyway, now that you're here, shipping's a little cheaper. Like I said, I'll pay for everything. If you just make me one, about two and a half, three pounds. And uh, I like yours better even than Brian Brazil's. I watched him make some here the other day. And uh, I like the looks of yours a whole lot better than I do his. Although I'm sure they function the same. But anyway, this is what I'm trying to do with a one pound ball, ball pain. I got a bigger claw hammer, but uh, when you need to turn it around, and spread the metal out a little bit better. This, this pain works a little better than the claws. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to continue beating on this thing. I got another one in the forge there. So, until next time, God bless.